I try not to brag too much, but we've been right more than they have. If you look at the last five years, average commission rates, good news, have risen four years in a row. They're going to rise again in 09. We may even see a little stability in 10. The brokerage cost per unit of productivity have returned to 10 years ago. The brokers who are here and those who are still doing well, that means have cut their costs back to what they were almost 10 years ago on a per unit basis, right? Let me tell you something, nothing but pain. We're ready to have fun again, aren't we? Amen. Yeah. Consolidation will continue. It is really sped up this year. The, the next six months, it may slow a little bit because of tax credits. and But after that happens, we go back to normal. It's going to go right back to fierce competition for good agents, good managers. And uh, Steve's gonna, Harney's going to address this more fully than I. But um, I, I often, uh, listening to brokerage owners, complain or discuss the issue of agents so willing to discount their commissions. And I said, they're only taking your lead from this. You've been discounting your brokerage services value for 30 years. I mean, a brokerage discounting, another way to express it is giving up higher splits, even to people. And many agents deserve them, but most agents don't. People doing two, three, four deals a year. And brokers have been discounting their value by offering just higher splits for no value received. The good firms, two of them represented up here, many in the room, they've had it with that. It's going to be challenging, but $38 billion is still a lot of money. Last I checked. Thank you very much for your attention. We'll have these slides for all of you. I'm going to turn this over to Gino. You want to go next? Sure. So I'll introduce Gino Blafari. Going. I got to get some water after listening to you, Steve. <laughs> okay. Let me talk from the panel and. Um, I have Intero Real Estate Services. I think you got a real old uh, bio there because didn't talk anything about the, the last seven years with the, this new company. So I'm, I'm going to talk to you about um, what we did at Intero because I was requested to talk about this and uh, in, in our market from, Steve mentioned, from 2005, we had in Silicon Valley, that's where I'm based, there's 14 offices, about um, 1,200 agents, sales associates, um, all organically grown. So no merger, no acquisition, all since 2002. Um, in any case, we had 25,300 sales in 2005, and then in 2007, all of a sudden, it was 12,200. So more than half of the sales went away. And uh, here we had this big, um, somewhat big regional company and had to make some cuts. And I've been asked uh, by Debbie to go over specifically what we did to right-size the company. So I will do that. I'm going to rifle through all these uh, numbers for you relatively quickly. And um, at the same time, though, we were able to increase market share by 6.8%, while our two largest competitors, one lost about 6% market share, and the other one lost 4.4% market share. And um, in the, the whole thing that we did at the same time was introduce something called scorekeeping for success and basically monitored everything because uh, here's what we know. We, you know. When performance is measured, performance improves. When performance is measured and re reported back, the rate of improvement accelerates. Okay, We just know that, but people hate to do that. Um, our, our managers, our branch managers, basically report back what they do every single day. Okay, um, small the things that actually make an impact on on their bottom line, which all of them are tied to the profit. So basically, we're just trying to help them earn more money, and uh, it's been very successful in 2009. Okay, so here's here's all the reductions starting uh, right at the top. We. Um, and bear in mind, gained market share. So it's 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 just you're just managing your company better. It's not like you're going to make cuts and you're going to lose your entire company. Um, reduced uh, our advertising in in local and metro pa papers. That saved us annually 
$1,343,000. We restructured our training with fewer people coming into the business. Uh, we had a whole training facility just like this room right here that we rented off site and, and we just were able to eliminate that and bring it into a smaller facility. That saved us $230,000. We uh, restructured, we were about in 2007, right when the market really tanked. We were opening up a huge office in a high-end area called Menlo Park. With, and, and we open up an office with zero people, you know, just a manager and an admin staff and or try to organically grow it. And it, w it was not working, so we, we cut our losses there. I was luckily, since we own the building, I was lucky to get Stanford Medical in, into that building. So I got a tenant in there, and um, uh, we just downsized to a smaller space. That saved $558,000. Um, layoffs. We didn't close one office. But we just, we certainly, you know, work, one of the time management things is work expands to fit the time allotted, right? We all know that, okay? Well, we laid off 46 people, which was 33, 38.3% of our staff. And we took senior management, took payroll reductions of 20% pay cut. Um, that was 17.5%. And that saved an annual number of $3,792,000. Okay, then little things, eliminated outside plant service. We used to have a lady come and water the plants. Okay, that was $16,000. Um, we had high-end um, coffee, and we just got started. Now we brew Starbucks. That saved 22000 We um, reduced our, our, our garbage by doing a green initiative and recycled and saved another $5,000. Um, we put all our triple net leases um, on flat fee HVAC service contracts, saving $12,000. We implement, implemented online um, transaction management software to some of our offices. That was worth $36,000. We reduced our janitorial service from five days to three days a week. And the rule is, look, when you leave the restroom, you need to leave it better than when you arrived, okay? Um, renegotiate our AT&T bill. Um, we actually filed something with the FCC. That saved us $32,000. Um, canceled our featured listings on Realtor.com, $78,000. Canceled our featured listings on Trillia, $90,000. Reduction in our Google AdWords, $240,000, okay? Capped our cell phone plans. Uh, we paid cell phones for some of, all of our managers and, and some of our executives. That saved 2000 A reduction in FedEx pricing, 1500 Renegotiate our click charges for our copiers, $25,000. Uh, change print vendors. Maybe we can change again and save, but we saved 40000 off of that. Eliminated excess E&O. We just did a study on it, and our E&O was, uh, was going up so high that we were able to eliminate some of that. Saved 55000 Did a property tax audit on our tax bill. Found out that we were being double dipped by some of our TIs. They were actually hitting us there on property taxes on all our branches. That saved another 80000 Gave out our toll-free number only to our customers, 5000 uh, renegotiated a web contract, 6400 Reduction in internet bandwidth. We scaled back. We monitored the usage, and we figured we could scale back on our internet bandwidth by 30000 uh, We added web advertising. We haven't done too much. We only got one customer, but that gets us 10000 in income. Renegotiate our bandwidth charges, 18000 Here was an interesting one. We took the um, uh, vacation accrual that we do, and we just audit the heck out of it. Just by auditing it, it saved 30000 Then our branch managers who get three and four weeks off, they weren't marking it down. They were taking their three or four weeks and not marking it down. We're accruing for it and paying it out. So we, we, um, we actually, that's just, a, 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 just accruing for what they didn't mark down, save 35000 Four partners in Intero, myself, Bob Moles, Tom Tognoli, and John Thompson, we forego our vacation pay. That saved $81,000. And we changed the policy for the managers to a use it or lose it. So you got four weeks vacation. We know you take eight, but it's just use it or lose it, okay? <laughs> so that was that. That was good. That saved, uh, saved $14,000. Um, eliminated overtime. You know, um, I have this thing called um, a, a staffing model, and I need to have 18 pendings per employee, right? I was running, when, when, when the market was way, way down, I was running like, you know, seven and eight pendings per employee and still having overtime. You know, didn't make any sense. Got rid of that. We had um, outside coaching. It was good coaching. Mike Ferry was coaching our managers, uh, someone from his company. Uh, we reduced that. Um, we actually we eliminated that. I became the coach. We organically recruited 370 agents in 2009. 
that's like off the charts, but that's like just 